uh, this project was a culmination of a major effort to redevelop 25 acres, formerly known as the Showboat Hotel. I have fond memories as a young high schooler. We would come here, my dad was a 21 dealer here, and well, all our friends and families would come here to bowl. What we have here is what I'd like to describe as our affordably priced workforce housing with an added amenity to help create a community. What makes this project unique and why uh, myself and, and the rest of my company are really excited to be part of it is that um, the, the experience and the skill of developing this project has allowed Chi Chi and Ventar and Stout Management to offer such uh, a well amenitized and, and high class property at a relatively affordable rate. Showboat Park Apartments is a great, great place for Ward 3 residents to come and live. We came in December, we were just really impressed doing the walkthrough of the units and just the dignified housing space that this is providing to so many Las Vegas residents. Then I come today and the pool is built out and the soccer field is ready and the basketball courts are ready. Our families are ready. It, isn't it so nice to be at an event where we can be talking about growth, where we can t be talking about people being in homes and living the kinds of lives that they're going to be able to live here with a playground and a pool and soccer fields. And you know, we talk a lot about the state level about our housing crisis. How do we make sure to keep people in their homes, not just during the pandemic, but other times? The best way to solve a housing crisis is to build housing. And that's what's happening here. During this pandemic, hundreds of people worked and continued to provide for their family. It could have been easy for Chi Chi to shut it down and say, we'll do this after the pandemic. He wouldn't have any of that. And because of that, there are men and women who have been able to work, continue to work, and continue to provide for their family with dignity. On top of that, believe me, I've developed, I've been in real estate a lot of years. He didn't have to do a lot of the things that you see around. I mean, look around. This is in an area that unfortunately doesn't see a lot of development as it should, but I think that's gonna change under Councilwoman Olivia Diaz's guidance and developers that are now taking a look down here. But he could have he could have shortchanged this place. But look at that. A soccer field behind us, a basketball field. A pool, this is all dignity and it's all affordable. This is affordable housing, but who says that people who maybe are a little bit lower income shouldn't have the dignity of having these kind of amenities? Chichi Bengochea did that. That's why the Latin Chamber of Commerce will always stand by you.